This is Evan Abrams, maker of fine After Effects tutorials, and today I'm going to answer some questions. This is question one out of 100. This question comes from IZZE underscore Bryson on Twitter, and he asks, How long have you been using After Effects, and how did you learn to use it? Question mark, winky face. Well there, Bryson, I've been using After Effects for 10.64 metric years or that's since September uh, 2001. I first started learning After Effects when I was in high school. Uh, I started high school in grade nine, which most people do in Canada, and I think everywhere else in the world, I don't really know. I attended a public school, and if you're familiar with what public schools are like, you know they don't have a lot of money, and the teachers are really doing the best job they possibly can for you. And that being said, the curriculum that year had called for digital video to be taught, and none of the teachers really knew how to do it. So I essentially taught myself using the Adobe Help Manual, which was printed out and this thick. Uh, you could get it in PDF, and it wasn't until versions later that it was a searchable PDF, so it was kinda, kinda not fun. But it was something that I was really passionate about, so I tried to, you know, get as much exposure with it as possible, and through a lot of trial and error, I eventually started to get the things that I wanted to happen to happen. We didn't have uh, YouTube back in 2001. Uh, that didn't happen until 2005. Uh, my home actually didn't get the internet until 2003. I grew up in a very rural community. Unless it was tractor studies, uh, there was not a lot of support for learning it. Uh, but, you know, that being said, uh, I really just, I just started learning by solving problems, which is, I guess, probably the only thing I'm good at. Uh, is solving problems, whether they're creative. I certainly can't solve any problems in my personal life. I find I really get a, a deeper understanding of not just what to do, but why to do those things. I mean, it's great if a teacher can say, you know, to chroma key, you should set your values to this, this, and this, but to do it yourself and to have to figure it out for yourself, you get a much deeper appreciation for why you have to set values at a certain range or why you want to use an effect or different ways to work around problems that come up because most of learning in general is about figuring out ways to get around a problem so that you don't repeat the same problem. So I guess that's about it. Uh, I guess to sum it up, 10 years and learned by doing. So, Bryson, thanks for the question. If anyone has any other Q&A questions, just tweet them at me. Use the hashtag uh, ECAbramsQ&A, and uh, I'll try to answer the first hundred in a video just like this one. So, thanks, Bryson. Uh, check out the rest of the channel. There's a lot of tutorials here, and uh, hope you enjoy. See you around the internet.